Good afternoon there YouTubers and welcome to this video presentation of my very own Land Rover Range Rover. The car has a 5 litre V8 petrol engine, an automatic gearbox, just 68,000 miles on the clock, a full service history including six main dealer stamps and a stamp from an independent Range Rover specialist costing well over 700 quid to yours truly and that includes all the fluids all the filters transmission fluid supercharger belt auxiliary belt front brake pads wipers everything that it needed it got the car will also have a brand new MOT when it goes out any advisories will be taken care of and it will be put through the workshop and complete an 82 point mechanical inspection this car starts, drives without any mechanical or electrical issues whatsoever. As I say, it's my own personal car, so I have an in-depth knowledge of this car, and I can hand on heart say that it drives absolutely superbly. The bodywork is in great condition. It is free from any major scratches, scuffs, or dents. Of course, it is a used vehicle. You're gonna find the occasional stone chip and light mark if you examine it forensically but given its age and mileage it's in excellent condition no signs of any rust or anything like that of course there is some light spider corrosion on a couple of the alloys by that I mean lacquer peel just there but there's no big chunks or anything like that missing out of them four matching Pirelli Scorpion tires and the car looks fantastic from all angles. There is a tow bar on the car. That was an optional extra, but I personally have not done any towing in the car. There is an aftermarket exhaust, which came with the car. It is a professional aftermarket exhaust. It's not, it's not something that's been lashed together by an amateur. Uh, and there's the manufacturer of it. You look those guys up, I think they're based in Leeds actually. And it gives a fantastic enhancement to the V8 Burble. I'll try and demonstrate that for you later on in the video. This car has an outstanding specification. Of course, it is the autobiography version, which means you get, well, pretty much everything. Let's start with the basics. Front and rear parking sensors, a reversing camera, heated and cooled front and rear seats. Car has uh, an electronic sunroof, electric sunroof, I should say. There we go. When I start the car up, I'll demonstrate all of this works, but for now, take my word for it, everything in here works exactly as it should do. Uh, leather headlining, which gives the car, if it didn't already have a premium feel to it, it gives it an even more premium feel to it. The interior of this car is in pretty much immaculate condition. It belies its age and mileage. Uh, I'm not a smoker, I don't have any pets, so we've not had any dogs or any other four-legged furry friends in here. And as I say, I'm not a smoker, so the car smells fresh and clean. It's been regularly detailed. Carpets have been regularly shampooed and wet vac Rear entertainment, uh, there are the headrests, the other one in the other door card, so those, uh, sorry, headphones, not headrests. Um, the screen is in the headrest, just there. It doesn't work. I'll demonstrate that once I fire the car up. Into the boots, as you can imagine, quite a cavernous boot. Split folding tailgate. Uh, original Land Rover overmat, which came with the car. I haven't taken it off since I've had the car, so the carpet under there is like new. There is also a full-sized spare wheel, uh, jack and brace underneath there. I won't try and lift it up with one hand, but uh, again, take my word for it, it is there. Again, immaculately clean, spotless throughout. No signs of any rips or tears anywhere in these seats. As I mentioned, the rear seats are heated and cooled and fully adjustable. There's the other headset for the rear entertainment. Incidentally, that rear entertainment is a two and a half thousand pound optional extra. So somebody 
went to town on this car when they specified it. Memory seats, both the passenger and the driver are both uh, memory seats. Automatic headlights naturally, electric mirrors and electric windows. Multifunction steering wheel which controls the adaptive cruise control. Now this is the cruise control that uh, slows down and speeds up in line with the car in front of you. You set the distance you want and it speeds up and slows down for you. Bluetooth hands free and of course you have your volume control. On the centre console here, this is what controls the uh, off-road functionality. So you've got just standard, which is set on at the moment, and you've got for snow and ice, uh, rocks, sand, mud. If you fancy a bit of off-road, and I've never off-roaded this vehicle, but that's, um, that's effectively what you can do. Underneath there, underneath the armrest, there is a USB input, and uh, the auxiliary is just behind uh, in the control panel, which I'll show you. Uh, the control panel for the... Um, for the rear passenger, so the auxiliary input is just there, so you can plug your iPhone or uh, your Android in and play your music through the car, as I do. So let's pop in and start this car up, so you can see it starts with no warning lights. So it is a keyless start. Start-stop button is just down there. Push and hold the brake, push and hold the start-stop button. As you can hear, the car starts first time. All the, warnings, all the warning lights come on and all the warning lights pop off again apart from obviously um, the car telling you that um, all the doors are open there we go everything in here works precisely as it should do the heating blows nice and warm the air conditioning has just been regassed so it blows ice ice cold irritating sound to switch off there we go right so we have our navigation all working TV which does work there's no signal down here so it won't switch on but it does work you can watch TV so there we have <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Now let's put the um, rear entertainment on. Just push that button now. If I pop into the rear. As you can see, both screens on. One there. And one there. Does have DAB radio. Uh, regular radio and DAB radio. Which as you can hear works. As does the regular radio. Not tuned into anything because I don't use that. I only use the DAB. Uh, what else? See the car does have Bluetooth, hands-free, connected to my phone currently as you'd expect. Uh, the heated seats, uh, the front seat's controlled from down here, so that's the heated seats. And then the cooled seats. Great feature in the uh, in the summer and in the winter, of course. I think that's pretty much everything to tell you about in here. A couple of cup holders just hiding underneath there. Uh, and perhaps finally the sunroof. Uh, we've got push the button, it just tilts, and if you pull the button backwards, there she goes. And then just there is the cover for it, the, uh, the shade. Uh, fully leather as I say leather lined in here leather lined dash everything is leather in here now finally I did mention earlier in the video that this car does have an aftermarket exhaust which if hopefully I should be able to demonstrate to you Give 
gives it a real nice pop and a throaty sound too what is already a lovely sounding engine speaking of which finally if I can get this open there is the supercharged 5 litre V8 in all its glory now I personally don't get my uh, engines steam cleaned this is how an engine looks and how it should look and as you can hear it ticks over beautifully this car doesn't knock rattle squeak or go bump in the night now I apologize for the length of this video hopefully you are still with me and you haven't switched off and got bored but there is a lot to talk about with this car obviously there is a monstrous specification and it is a big car so there's lots to cover hopefully you found this video useful of course we uh, offer part exchange uh, finance and the car comes with a three-month warranty Hopefully you found this video useful and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I certainly enjoyed making it. It's a lovely, lovely car and I hope to show you the car very soon. Thanks for watching.